Hello everyone, this is Square Triangle Mouse and today I'm going to talk to you about uh, Civilization 6 and how to conquer cities during the mid-game so this is basically the wars that happened during the medieval era and the renaissance and how to take cities there and I'm going to explain you how very overpowered the support units are in this game, especially some support units and during this video we're going to talk about the Siege Tower and the Battering Ram so let's get into it right now So the Siege Tower is very strong because it allows your units to do full damage to the city directly even if it has walls This means your melee units can do... well, they can basically ignore the walls um, and just attack the city directly to take it now the problem with this is that if you don't take the city in one turn you're going to get bombarded at least once if you take three turns to get the, take the city then you're going to get bombarded twice and so on because you're not going to be doing pretty much any damage at all to the walls if you attack directly with melee units without any siege units or anything like that so to compensate for that i usually like to combine the siege tower with the battering ram now when the battering ram is adjacent to the city your melee units will um, make full damage to the city's walls and that is very very strong you're going to be making much more damage to those city walls if you have a battering ram than if you don't it's a really huge difference so if you have the battering ram and the siege tower at the same time you basically just come into the city with only melee units and well they they do full damage to the city and full damage to the city walls you can usually get rid of those nasty bombardments in one turn maybe two turns and that's it so you are going to be bombarded almost no no time at all so let's see this in practice now this is a clip from my Russia domination game we can see I'm attacking Delhi with knights and uh, we have a battering ram and a siege tower and on our very first attack we are already doing 18 damage to both city center and walls which is much more than you could do without those support units and then on the second attack you see the at damage to the city center is already 25 and we can see in further attacks we are always around 25 to city center, 20 to city dam um, defense and obviously because the health of the walls is lower we can see that, that those walls are going down really fast so I'm going to get rid of the walls before I actually take the city and that is why I like bringing the battery ram with me you can see there both the battery ram and the siege tower are next to the city so it's very useful with knights now let's keep in mind that of course knights are mounted units but uh, when the description of the siege tower and the, and the battery ram uh, they say melee units, what they mean is units that do um, damage directly by hitting, not by not by range, okay? It applies to melee units, to anti-cavalry units and to cavalry units. Everything that is not ranged is going to, to have that bonus from the siege tower and from the battering ram. So they work really, really well with knights, but a little bit later they still work really, really well with uh, cavalry. So let's fast forward a little bit on the same game to see how I take the next city. Now of course I was playing with Russia in this game, so in this example I have Cossacks that have a little bit more strength than a regular cavalry. I think the numbers right now are 67 versus 62. But still, the cavalry is, is still much stronger than a knight, so you can get a very similar result with the cavalry. And you can see that with only one hit of a Cossack, thanks to the battering ram, the walls are gone. I'm not going to get bombarded by this city anymore. I did also some very nice amount of city damage thanks to the siege tower, but effectively this shows very well why I like bringing the battering ram as well, because if I take more turns to take the city, that's that's going to be fine. I'm not going to get bombarded. And you can see there that I'm actually going to take one more turn to take the city, but I'm not going to get bombarded by the city. I might might get bombarded by the encampment, but that's about it. So it's much safer for my units to attack the city now. And that is why I like bringing the battering ram as well. And that's it, this is how you attack cities in the mid game. You bring knights, you bring, bring cavalry, uh, whatever unit you can make that is mounted ideally. If you don't have iron or horses, you will have to do this with, with melee units. 
and that is a shame because it's faster if you have a mounted unit but anyway still just bring the bring the battery ram bring the siege tower don't try to take down walls with crossbows crossbows are no good for taking walls they should come with you in your army but only to get rid of enemy units not to take down the walls if you have any more questions about mid-game wars or if you want to see a strategy video about a specific topic say it in the comments and i will make a video about that as well um, I will update soon, in the meantime, please hit the like button and subscribe if you like this type of videos for Civilization 6. Thank you for watching.